like that, girl. Mister, how do you do, sir? Stop it. Oh. Has anyone seen Gavin? Partner, hello. An Englishman called Gavin. Hello there. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? Nope. But I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Oh, maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He he'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Hey, how you doing? Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? you? Shot me no more. Oh, I am so worried. Gav. Gav. Uh, Gav. Where are you? Where are you? This is really worrying me. Gavin! Oh, oh. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Coming in or what? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region and uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world.
Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. Oh, look out for their guards. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Thank <laughs> you. 
my girl. You Penelope Braithwaite? Why, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. 
And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure.
Hey, partner, hold up. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Now, get off the horse. I'm only gonna ask once. No chance. Ah, shit. That the you snake bite, fella? Again? again. <laughs> it's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. Uh, <laughs> can't believe I'm doing this. Hold still. <laughs> Never again. Oh, I owe you so much, mister. Can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. Gonna... Stiff one tonight. That's it. You ain't getting another out.
You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You're... Thank you. My God, what a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Ladies. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob, Bo? Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch now, the water. Now, now. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest. 
you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Talk to sir. Go home! Go. Shut your mouth! What you the doing? hell is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. well, this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh. Mm. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Oh. 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 His philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, we will. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Yes, Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo. a cocky little... Bo, will we just leave him? <laughs> well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. America. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but you should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family, we have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so, but uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a artistic temperament, so. Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Let's go, girl. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yep.
that's enough for me. Oh, good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? Then it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. What 
You won't. Found something. Out in the hills. Thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over for the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> no, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Now look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right, this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh, shh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Broke poor Mammy's heart. There, there. Benton, there, there. Don't get mad, huh? Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Him. 
He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Need you behind that bar now, Fenton. Chop, chop. drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas, it's your luck. I only have one, Fenton. Three drinks. A gift. Gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 oh. no.
Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got off the back! Got more coming after. I see them. Well, shoot! Bastards! Hold us on, they're coming out of the alley! You think we wouldn't find you? That's it! Son of bitch is dead! Yeah. Look at it on your right! never to take up a career in, what was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Ma Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, 
I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. dressed as a sheriff. Hey there. Good evening, Arthur. to take me all week long he's telling me to come and in the end i sent my brother's friend ned instead go oh, i never liked ned much either i figured well they could do the damnedest to each other turns out they did only weren't jeb drowning ned like i reckon but <laughs> ned he went and well stabbed jeb right in the money maker <laughs> him into Aunt Jemima. <laughs> no word of lie. <laughs> hey. Hello, Mr. Morgan. Hello. Things. I can't complain. Good to hear. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, not so good. These things are sent to test us. Morning, Arthur.
Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Sir? This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So, this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. Sometime today would be nice, Morgan. Ready? Let's get out of here. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep, using that back there. Moonshine? Born's faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose <laughs> really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still, tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then.
Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they knows you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hiding back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Yeah, we're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talk. Hey, hold him right there. What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I, I've come from Donegal in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort the of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. <laughs> Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. All right, you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest place. <coughs> okay. We can hold up in here till it gets dark. How are you getting on? Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. 
will burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. It's good for you.
I'm gonna douse this too. Are you, sir? What are you waiting for? Haha! <laughs> now let's go leave ourselves a fat cigar! Somebody shoot him already! Make your face! You're dead! You ain't leaving here! Chuck it under that! I need to get this going! I got the red head! <laughs> got some hearts from this haze! Come on! Not right now, we got company! Look out! Turn into a right party. 
You call that a party? That break weight high got on what he's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. Interesting little fight Dutchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Whoa. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have if you hadn't talked me into it. You don't look right dressed as the law. Arthur! Arthur!
you doing? Thank you, Arthur. If you're not interested, fine. Make sure my horse gets up. 